In Android Studio, begin by going up to the toolbar and clicking on the AVD Manager button. AVD stands for Android Virtual Device. Click on the Create Virtual Device button to begin the process. There are four different categories you can choose from. For this tutorial, let's just stick with phones since that'll likely be the most common type of device you'll be testing on. Let's also choose the Nexus 5X since that's a good mid-range phone to test development on. You can also create custom virtual devices using the new hardware profile button, but we're not going to get into that here since it's only useful in specific cases. Alright, hit next to continue the process. Here we get to choose a system image. Select your system image based on what version of the Android OS you are targeting with your application. I'm just going to select Nougat because that's what I have downloaded. Now, moving on to the next page, we can rename our device if we'd like. I'm going to stick with the default name because it works perfectly fine. There's no need to change the rest of the defaults unless you run into performance issues and need to change the graphic settings or you have some use case for starting up your virtual device in landscape. Now just hit finish to complete the process and see your new virtual device. When you're ready to run your app, hit the run button and select your virtual device. Alright, and there you have it. You now have a working virtual device in Android Studio.